Hi guys, my name is Pei Yong. You can call me PY. I'm the founder of BrainyBear.ai. So BrainyBear basically is a is an AI tool for create chatbot assistant. Let me quickly show you how it works and how straightforward and simple it is. All right. First thing first, you have to come to the BrainyBear.ai, and you can create an account for free. Just click on this. You can sign up with the manual email address. Okay, so once you sign up, you will get uh, 100 message credits for free. It's worth $5. So now you can start creating your first chatbot assistant by either clicking this link or you can go to the assistant menu and just click on the add new button. And now you are on the first step for creating a new assistant. So first step is about settings. So let's create an assistant name. And let's choose an AI model. You can choose triple four and two more of the latest for me. Okay. So you can give it a welcome message or you can give instruction to your channel assistant. So after that, we go to the step two, which is the appearance. For appearance, so you can change the label for your assistant. And you can upload customize a logo. So let me choose a logo. Say this one and you can choose the chatbot icon so the icon actually is this one when you minimize it so let's use the robot icon and you can choose the position is only like bottom left or bottom right uh, then you can choose the color so let's put it gray you can customize the font if you want when you have done with the step two so the last the last step will be the targeting but usually we will just show it all on all pages so Let's create your assistant now. Just click on it. Well, your new assistant is already created successfully. So now let's go here to train and better integrate your assistant. So now, click on the train, uh, train chatbot button. So there's a few ways you can train your chatbot. So first is by scanning from your website. So second, by uploading file. So what files you can upload? You can upload from text file, PDF, docs, JSON file. HTML, PowerPoint. All right, let's start with the scan website. So just insert the URL to scan, just for fun. I will just put product.com, see what I can get. So now wait for the scanning to be done. Let's choose everything. How about uh, the filter function? If you don't want, if you want to exclude something from the training material, you can actually exclude it by adding a filter. So just create the filters, unselect all the things, and then remove the filter. So now you're good. So this is how you can filter the data. So let's just click on the train your assistant now. Are you ready? Yes. And then just wait for it. All right, it's done. So now your chatbot is already trained with the data that you already scanned from the website just now. So how do we try? All right, now you can try to chat with your chatbot using your own credit. Remember you have 100 free message credits, so let's chat with the chatbot. So here you can ask something very general. Are you human? No. So let's ask something that uh, we just trained the chatbot with. Let's ask something about product hunt. For example, like uh, what are the future products? Let's see, what are the future products? See if you're able to get the, learn from the latest information we just trained. We just scanned the website and trained it with. Oh, it works. Forks moving core boss. Oh yeah, it works. Mm. How do we embed the chatbot on your website? So you can embed using many ways by manually copy and paste the snippet to your website or by Google Tech Manager, by downloading a WordPress plugin. You can also install your Wix website, Shopify workflow, ClickFunnels, Squarespace, Unbounce, Webly. There's many ways you can embed your chatbot to your website. So how about embedding the chatbot with the messaging apps? Of course you can. You can integrate with the Facebook Messenger by following the step-by-step -step instructions. 
and you can also integrate with the WhatsApp, but uh, there might be extra charges, yeah. So also Telegram, Slack, Line, and Discord coming soon. All right, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoy the demo and find it simple and straightforward for creating the chatbot using BrandyPay. So that's it. See you guys.